Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this. K multiply by K multiply by K plus K equal to 10, right? And K plus K, I mean K times K times K, do you know that it is the same thing as K multiply, um, K to the power of 1 plus k to the power of 1 times k to the power of 1 then plus k equal to 0 but then according to the rule we do not normally write the power of 1 but there's an invisible one that is always there right so according to the law of indices now pick one of the bases as we have k then 1 plus 1 plus 1 then plus k equal to 0 now we can't apply the same rule here because we are adding so k and 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give k to the power of 3 then plus k this is equal to sorry it's not 60 um it's 10 this is equal to 10 right and then let's bring everything to the left so we have k to the power of 3 plus k minus 10 equal to 0 isn't it now we have k to power 3 let's bring out a factor or let's bring out a number from 10 that can be raised to the power of 3 so we have k to the power of 3 plus k minus 8 because 8 can be raised to the power of 3 then we're going to have minus 2 remaining being equal to 0 because minus 8 minus 2 gives minus 10, right? Now, k to the power of 3 plus k minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 equal to 0. 8 is 2 to power 3. Now, regroup this. k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. Then plus k minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, deal with this separately and this separately. Now, if we are going to deal with this, we'll use this standard that says if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this will be the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus ab then plus b squared. Close this. This is for the first um for the first um bracket here. And now our a is k and our b is 2, right? So a minus b will be k minus 2. Close this. Then a squared is k squared. Right? And then a b will be 2 times k, which is 2k. Then plus b squared that will be 2 squared close that then plus the second bracket is k minus 2 and this is equal to 0 now now what do i do factor out k minus 2 because it is here and here right so k minus 2 comes out then here i have k squared plus um, 2k plus 4 okay let me have this in this bracket then plus k minus 2 into k minus 2 will give 1 so we close this and equate it to 0 k minus 2 now into k squared plus 2k plus 5 because 4 and 1 will be added, this is equal to 0. And then applying 0 product rule, k minus 2 is equal to 0. So k minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 plus 2. What I've done is to use the additive inverse of minus 2, which is plus 2. So minus 2 plus 2 will give 0, you know, and then it has to reflect on the right k now will be equal to 0 
plus 2 and that is 2. So this will be the first value of k which we can call k1. Then to get the other values of k, we will work with this quadratic expression and equate it to 0. k squared plus 2k plus 5 is equal to 0. Now that we equate it to 0, we are having the quadratic equation. And then let's use this formula to solve it. k is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And then the whole of this will be over 2 times a. Now, our k will be equal to minus 2 because b is minus 2 or b is 2 rather, b is the coefficient of k and it's 2. Then plus or minus, we have 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 5, which will be here. This will be over 2 times 1. And if we continue with this, okay, okay, um, okay, I've already used the other side. Now, okay, so k will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20. Because 2 squared is 4, then 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. This will be over 2. So k will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16. And this will be over 2, right? And then, to continue with this, we have k to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This will be all over 2. What I've done is to point out or pick out the negative there. If you multiply these two, you will still have negative 16 in the root. Now, k will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 and square root of negative 1 is i because it is imaginary and this will be all over 2 and then from here what can we say this will go there so our k will be equal to negative 1 this goes there and the same 2 will go here to give us plus or minus we have to, okay, let me write this very well. We have to, I, right? Okay, so this is a two in one solution. Let's bring the three solutions together. Okay, so these are the three solutions. K1 equal to two, K2 equal to minus one plus two I, and K3 equal to minus one minus two I. Thank you for watching.